Now, before we continue, we should really save all of this good work that we've done here in our code play. We've set up our navigation bar so that when it's on smaller screens like the phone or the iPad, the links disappear into a button which can toggle our collapsible menu. So we don't want to lose all of this good work that we've done. Now, in the previous lesson, you should have downloaded a file called Bootstrap, inside which we have this folder called Tindog Start Here. And this is a skeleton project that I've created for you so that you don't have to go through the tedious process of finding your own images or uh, creating the blank styles.css or putting in the uh, HTML skeleton. Now, it's a good idea to have this file inside your development folder, wherever that may be. And once you've got it saved in there, then I want you to right click on index.html and I want you to open it inside Atom. Now, once you've got this file open, it's a good idea to just take a quick look through it to see what we've placed in here. And essentially, you've got the HTML boilerplate. So with the character set, the title, the link to the style sheet, which is in the CSS folder in the same Tindog Start Here project folder. And then in the body, we've got a number of sections that will eventually become the sections in our one page website. And I've commented out areas where we're going to be interacting with, for example, where we're going to place the nav bar. Now, I want you to go into your code play and to select all of this code that we created earlier on in order to have this nav bar using Bootstrap. And I want you to paste it just below this comment where it says, this is the nav bar section. So just in here. Now, if you've lost your code play area, or for some reason you can't find the code that you created here, then I will provide a link to the code play that I created that we followed along so that you can open it up in your browser and just simply copy this code into your new project file. Now, if you keep scrolling, you'll see that there's many sections and all I've done is to create the skeleton HTML. So some of the content for our website, for example, some text, um, some buttons, where buttons should be. I've incorporated some images and our job in this module is to style this website using Bootstrap so that it begins looking like the way that we want it to. And because we've studied our HTML in the previous modules, I don't want us to have to spend a lot of time creating these H1s or H2s or H3s. I'm confident that by getting to this point, you already know how to create images or how to create H2s. And we're going to save you a lot of typing um, by using skeleton projects from now on. Now, if you don't want to use this and you prefer to create your own from scratch, then you can always open up the index.html inside your browser and you can look at what we've added here, all of the text and images, and you can create the HTML for yourself. Uh, but I strongly recommend you to use the skeleton project because that will allow us to focus on one new thing every module and it will markedly accelerate your speed of learning. So now that we've added our navigation bar into our code, now the next step is for you to add Bootstrap into our project. Because as you can see right now, even though we have that nav bar here, it's not really doing anything, right? This is just plain old HTML. And it's because our CSS file that we've linked to is completely devoid of any code. I've only just included a blank file and named it and linked it up, but it doesn't do any styling yet. Now, I want you as a challenge to add Bootstrap into your project. So pause the video now and give that a go. Now, how did that go? Let's go through it step by step and see if we can make it work. So we'll head to the Bootstrap documentation and we'll go to get started. And you can see that there's quick start, right? Where we can just simply copy and paste the style sheet link into our website. So we can put that just above our own style sheet and hit save and let's refresh our page and you can see that we've now got all of our wonderful 
bootstrap styling. Our H1s have been styled into a sans serif font. Our nav bar is looking exactly the way that we saw it over here. And when we shrink it down, it becomes a button instead of all of these links. Our download buttons look different and everything is now styled using Bootstrap. Now, there's a lot more work to be done, but that's for the lessons yet to come. Now, for the keen-eyed amongst you, you might have noticed that something is still not quite right with our project, even though we've enabled Bootstrap. And the problem manifests itself when you go down to a, a tablet or a mobile size screen. Now, we do have this button that appears, but if you click on it, you'll notice that absolutely nothing happens. Now, if we go back to our code uh, play, you'll see that we have the same code for our navigation bar. But here, if I toggle this, it works perfectly. So why is that? Well, the reason is because in order for the bootstrap collapsible menu to work, you actually need some JavaScript and jQuery. And in our case, we actually don't have any of that. And we only have our CSS file from bootstrap. So what you can do to make it work is to scroll down on the bootstrap page and we can copy these three lines of JavaScript and also jQuery to add to our project. So let's go ahead and add that just below our CSS file. Now, in the coming lessons, when we talk about JavaScript and jQuery, we'll dig into these script tags and the optimal ways of adding JavaScript to our website in a little bit more detail. But for now, we're just gonna leave our script tags here and if we hit save and go back to our website and refresh it, you'll see that now our collapsible menu works. And if you remember, the reason is because JavaScript is responsible for any behavior or anything that your website can do. And the CSS is only for the style or the appearance of the website. So this is why we need those few extra lines of code in order to make our website do something even though it's very simple. Now, in the next lesson, we're going to learn more about the Bootstrap grid system, and we're going to start styling up our website using some of these Bootstrap components and layout tools. So for all of that and more, I'll see you on the next lesson.